Hi, this is William Ramsey. I wanted to put this clip up of a news report from Arkansas concerning the purchase of Damien Eccles' storage locker by a man named Rob Horn. You'll see Rob Horn in the following video, and then I'll follow up with some of the pictures that Rob Horn took of Damien Eccles' journal, compared it to other writings from in another journal, and then show an advanced copy of Mara Leverett's book, Devil's Knot. Have you ever seen this show, Storage Wars? It's where people can buy abandoned storage units through an auction. Well, one Arizona man who recently moved to Arkansas decided to take his chance at a Little Rock auction, and what he found inside the unit he bought was insight into one of the most publicized murder cases in the country. Janice Broach has the story. Here's a copy of Aleister Crowley's The Book of the Law on top of this stack of books. What is it, one in a, a million to be the person to actually bought his stuff? Not very many people would, would be that lucky. But Rob Horn from Bull Shoals, Arkansas, is that lucky. Well, this kind of stuff. He didn't know what he had when he recently bought the abandoned contents of a storage locker in Little Rock. I just saw a bunch of books with... You know, I can sell books. These books, lots of them on the table, under it, and in boxes, 12 to 15 boxes of books now in his home. A lot of the books has his name written in it. Damien Eccles, Varner Unit, Grady, yeah. Arkansas. That Damien Eccles from the notorious West Memphis 3 case, all a mystery to Horn, none of it meant anything to the retired police officer from Arizona until his wife read one of the letters tucked inside one of the boxes. Damien at soup, the Supermax. So we started Googling real quick, of course, and we came up with, and that's also how I found you. He knew the locker he'd purchased belonged to someone named Lori Davis. We did a lot more research and realized she had married him while he was in prison. And then... He knew what he had. And then I thought, wow, we might be able to make some money off this, maybe. There are photos of Lori, photos of her outside the prison, a photo of Lori and Damien. Rob Horn also told me that there are photos of Lori Davis naked with a ball gag in her mouth that he sent back to Damien and Lori. There's art possibly drawn by Damien, and there are these two journals written by Damien while in prison. One inside cover has Christian photos, mainly of the Virgin Mary, and one with a photo of Damien and Lori. The journals are going to be an insight to what it was like for him when he was in prison, which that ought to make for really good reading. Eccles, who spent more than 18 years on death row, wrote dated entries into the journals writing about his feelings and various observations. I will no longer give away anything of myself. Note the writing style for a later reference. Unless it is to acquire something of equal or greater value. June 27th, something is going on here. Something seems to have targeted me for one reason or another. June 28th, stress is taking an exhausting toll on me again. Horn figures different people sent these books to Eccles. Some of them, like a Daredevil comic, signed by the author. To Lori and Damien, uh, may you have freedom, justice, and a happy ending. Dave, there's a Bible with Eccles' name in it. Books on Eastern religion, even erotica. It is all a bit overwhelming for Rob Horn, who now feels he has hit the jackpot. I consider this myself really, really lucky, is what I gotta say. Now, Horn did say he tried to reach Lori and Damien Eccles through social media, but he has not received a response. Horn has already posted some of the items you saw there on eBay. You can go to eBay, just search for BK Barn. Rob Horn took photos of some entries in Damien Eccles' journal. One of which reads, I am the devil, not a devil, period, the devil. Another entry involves sexual fetishes and includes references to terms such as enemas and ball gags. You can see here that it is Damien Eccles' handwriting. Rob Horn told an investigator that there is correspondence between Damien Eccles, Lori Davis, and Mara Leverett five years before Mara Leverett published her so-called definitive book about the West Memphis Three, Devil's Knot, the true story of the West Memphis Three. 
Within the storage locker was an advanced, uncorrected proof, which indicates that Damien Eccles and or Laurie Davis had a copy of the book before its publication.